My name is Alexandra Zarini. I am filing a lawsuit against my stepfather, mother, grandmother and others because I was sexually abused by my stepfather, Joseph Ruffalo, from the age of six years old. My mother, Patricia Gucci, and grandmother, Bruna Palombo, did not protect me. They did not shield me. They allowed it to happen. But I'm coming forward publicly today because as hard as this is for me, I feel it is my duty to expose the misconceptions about child sexual abuse and to raise awareness that every single day, we as a society are failing to protect the most vulnerable and innocent among us, our children. If you think this doesn't happen here in Beverly Hills, then you should know that my perpetrator still lives in California, spends time at the Bel Air Country Club and volunteers in your children's hospitals. This is not something that only happens to other families in other neighborhoods or other countries. It is everywhere and happens to children in all countries, all states, all ethnic backgrounds and all neighborhoods. I'm also speaking out because when I was abused and sexually assaulted, I had no one to protect me, no one to save me and no one who did anything about it. This is far too common. There needs to be accountability for those people who look away and who don't stop child sexual abuse from happening. That inaction is costing us lives and robbing children of their future. Once children have been abused, they will struggle to come forward because they believe they will be judged. But it is the perpetrators and those who protect them that need to be judged, not the survivors. Survivors of child sexual abuse, myself included, will tell you that this is one of the worst things that can happen to you. You lose your childhood and you fight against the painful legacy abuse leaves with you your entire life. In my late teens and early 20s, I experimented with drugs for a couple of years to help deal with the memories and the trauma of my abuse. It took me many years to become more grounded in who I was. And in some ways, I am one of the lucky ones. Talking about what happened to me saved my life. Without that communication, I would have been another statistic. A child who gets abused will have to live with this trauma their whole life. The average age a survivor comes forward is 52 years old. That is 34 years from the time they turn 18 to the time they are able to speak up about it. Statistically, there are as many as 50 million Americans today who have been through this abuse and many suffering in silence. If you are a celebrity, influencer, actor, politician, musician, educator, or a mother like me, or a father like my husband, fighting child sexual abuse needs to be your cause too. If you are in a position to raise awareness and help to protect just one child with your actions, then I'm asking you emphatically, do whatever you can. I will both financially and personally commit as much as I can to this cause and have started a charitable foundation which has one clear mission, to end child sexual abuse, and which will benefit from any award from this lawsuit. There are already so many courageous and bold survivors and advocates out there, and I plan to spend the next few months reaching out to a broad range of existing organizations to see what the needs are and what the gaps are to determine how our foundation can help. But I already know the most important step starts with all of us talking about the crisis of child sexual abuse out loud. We all have a responsibility to use our platforms, our voices and our resources to protect our children and to end child sexual abuse. Thank you.